In this video, you will learn about the physics, math, graph, and real life treatment of damped harmonic oscillators. Let's review simple harmonic oscillations first. A simple harmonic oscillator undergoes repeated motion due to a restoring force that obeys Hooke's law whereby the force is directly proportional to the displacement from equilibrium but opposite in direction. In deriving the solution for simple harmonic oscillation, we set up Newton's second law, create the differential form of the equation of motion and plug in a trial sinusoidal function. If you go through the derivation, you will find that the period of oscillation in theory only depends on the mass and the spring constant. The amplitude remains constant. You can verify this with simple experiments where if you can measure the position versus time, then you can back calculate the measured period and compare it with theory. For damped harmonic oscillation, there is an additional resistive force that opposes motion. In this example, we will take the first order approximation that this resistive force is linearly proportional to velocity but opposite in direction through the damping coefficient b. This adds an extra term to Newton's second law and the differential form of the equation of motion. We still expect the solution to this to be oscillating in nature, but we are going to modify the amplitude through an exponential decay function. We will designate tau as the characteristic time constant, which represents the time after which the amplitude will have decayed by a factor of e. We are not going to show all the steps of the derivation of the solution. We will leave it up to the reader to practice that. But in summary, the time constant will depend on mass 
and the damping coefficient and the period will also be affected by the damping. Here is the comparison of simple harmonic oscillation with no damping versus damped harmonic oscillation. Notice that the damped harmonic oscillation looks like the superposition of an exponential decay function with a sinusoidal function. Notice that after each oscillation, the amplitude is smaller in magnitude. Notice also that the period of oscillation is longer under damping. As the solution for period hints, there is a critical point where the damping is so large that the period goes to infinity. This is known as critical damping. The solution for this is no longer oscillating but rather an exponential decay. Qualitatively, this is the point where the resistive force of damping is so large that it completely opposes the restoring force of the system. Do not think of damping as necessarily a bad thing. Critical damping especially has multiple real life applications. Mechanical door closers use a restoring force to close the door. However, to make sure that the door doesn't slam, there is a damping mechanism installed as well. Shock absorbers installed on vehicles work on the same principle. They use a restoring force to return the vehicle to equilibrium, but they also purposely have a resistive force slowing that motion to not keep oscillating. Tuned mass dampers installed on high voltage lines as well as tall skyscrapers also kill oscillations. In summary, damped harmonic oscillation is a type of harmonic oscillation that includes a restoring force but also a resistive force that decays the amplitude and slows the oscillation.